Hello fellow YouTubers. Uh, today I'm going to quickly go through um, a tutorial on using an LED sensor interface with your Arduino board so you can use that as a light sensor in a program of your choosing. Uh, so basically I've got here my own Arduino. It's actually a DFR Romeo. And um, I've just got here a little yellow uh, LED and um, that's going to be my um, input sensor and at the back here I've just got a green LED which is going to be plugged into our pulse width modulation pin 3 and that's also going to be grounded. So what I've got here is my simple Arduino program and I've hooked the Arduino up itself to the computer using the serial cable and you can see here at the top I've just defined my LED light that's on pin 3 which is a pulse width modulation pin make sure it's a PWM pin because it, if it isn't you'll only get two states of your LED and that's high and low if you have the PWM pin then you can essentially write an analog level to your LED which means you can dim it and you can brighten it and it'll have an infinite number of brightness values to it uh, the second here is the sensor which I've just got simply plugged in from zero to my um, ground. Make sure that's an analog pin, so I've got analog pin zero. And um, here, I've got the serial begin, which means uh, you have defined that your Arduino is going to be hooked up to the computer and you've got your board right there, which is the number of symbols per second, so that's quite good. Um, and make sure you define your pin mode, the LED output, the LED light, is going to be an output. Okay, so I've got unsigned interval, which will take a value between 0 and 1024. Uh, 1024, that's just because what the analog pin works between 0 and 1024. But um, you can see here below that I've constrained it between 230 and 290. And that's because uh, 0 is too low to my ambient lighting here and 1024 is way too high okay and then to have an LED level that has to be between 0 and 255 because that's um, the only way you can write between analog write between 0 and 255 so I've got this map command here which takes the value val between 230 and 290 and linear rates it between 0 and 255 so then I can then analog write the LED light to the LED level which is going to be between 0 and 255 based on my ambient lighting and the lighting that I introduce with my torch okay so let's just see here the serial printing uh, and once you've got your program uploaded simply click Control shift M and you open your COM window you can see there that it's writing codes out there, uh, mostly around 2.30, which is the ambient lighting in the room, I guess. Uh, and it's delayed by half a second, as you can see in my code here. And when I get my torch out and I shine it at my LED on the analog pin, you can see that value increases. So now I'm, I'm about an inch away from the LED, reading about 2.50. And as I get closer and closer, it peaks out. And it peaks out at about 290. Okay, so we've got the program uploaded now to the Arduino and we've got everything plugged in. I modified the program slightly, I took the delay out because the delay will mean that the LED will intermittently get brighter or dimmer. Um, and the back LED here, it's got a tie down resistor, make sure that's there, that's important. Otherwise your LED will draw far too much current and it could damage your Arduino or your LED. And the LED is plugged into uh, pin output 3, which is a pulse width modulation pin, as I said before. And I'm just going to show you, using the program I uploaded and this hardware here, how this um, sensor works. Remember I've mapped the sensor and constrained the values between 230 and 290 but you should see this LED go to full brightness. 
You see that in the background as I move away, it's a very smooth transition. And you could use this in any kind of system. I mean, you can buy uh, light sensors which are far more sensitive and uh, if you're using them professionally, that's what you'd want to use. But, you know, just fiddling around with this, uh, you could even maybe even use this to transmit some code or whatever uh, between Arduinos. Yeah, it's quite good. Put it to good use, showing what you can do with it. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.